Hey there's it's the Gaming Dragon here, and we're going to be playing an epic, magical game for you today. I've got my wand ready, and it's called Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, the game. I've loved Harry Potter for so long, and I'm so pumped. Let's just jump straight into it. Guys, we're here at the Xbox screen, home screen, and we're just about to play Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, so let's jump right into it. So guys, this is, we're just loading, and let me tell you about, a bit about Harry Potter. It's a kid who just happens to figure out he's magical, and he's like a wizard, and he goes off to this school, and he faces all these problems with his arch enemy, Lord Voldemort, aka he who must not be named. Anyway, I'm just going to show you the intro. I personally think it's amazing and I've been playing this game for a long time now so let's jump right into it. Here is Bright Light Video Game called Sponsors. There's Harry Potter, Albus Dumbledore, the wise Albus Dumbledore. Um, there is Ron Weasley wearing his Quidditch robes which Quidditch is actually a game, there's your arch enemy, Draco Malfoy and Hermione Granger. It's a game performed on broomsticks and that's the Quidditch field. Um, I'll tell you a bit more about it when we're actually playing Quidditch. That's some of Quidditch dueling. That's the castle. That's potions. That's Ron again. Those are the gates. Castle gates. More dueling. More dueling. Loads more dueling. 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 Potions. Secret battle. Ron Weasley. Potions. Potions. Something. Um, Quidditch. It's Harry Potter. So, Harry Potter's actually a seeker, somebody who tries to get a little golden snitch, which wins the game for them, technically. Um, there is dueling Quidditch with Jenny, there's Professor Snape, yeah. Professor Silicorn, and Harry Potter. So yeah, that's just the intro, there's a lot more to it, but I hope you guys will enjoy this video. So, yeah. Let's get straight into it. Um, so, I'm going to actually go on one of my clubs. Or just the, yeah, clubs. So, I'm going to show you Quidditch, which is a game, Quidditch dueling. Dueling is you fight people with your wands and spells. Flying is your, it's a game on broomsticks which I'll explain as doing flying. So, Quidditch is a game that you perform on broomsticks and there are, I, I don't remember how many p positions, but there, I know there are, like, there is one seeker, there's one seeker who tries to get the golden snitch, which is a, which is a little ball with wings that you have, that slides very fast and you have to fly around in the broomstick and try to get you. Get it. Your team wins 150, 250 points if you catch the golden snitch. Now, there's also, also cha chasers which grab the red qu quaffle about the size of a soccer ball and they try to bring it through these hoops but the keeper stops that from happening and guards their hoops then there is the then there is the beater which hits bludgers which fly around trying to hit people in their head and knocking them and potentially knocking them off their broom. Now let's get straight into it against Hufflepuff. So you Harry Potter is a seeker, so you'll be going after the golden snitch. This is the Quidditch field, very nice. So get straight into it. Now, as I explained the rules, they are very complicated. There's over like 50 violations, I think. Or 500, one of the two. So you just go for these stars and you try to get the golden snitch, which is extremely hard. Um, it takes a while, but I'll just explain some of the violations. 
if somebody other than the seeker gets the golden snitch, they it is considered a viol or a foul or a violation or a foul. And yeah, it doesn't really count at all. The snitch, as I said, the seeker must get it. Um, if you get the quaffle from the hoops, your team gets ten points. Of the stands also, uh, no, I'll just explain the houses. Now there are four houses. There are four houses in Harry, in, well, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter alone. Basically, just four houses in Hogwarts. Now, Hogwarts is their magical castle school thing, and, well, yeah. So, Harry Potter is in Gryffindor, the brave awesome house. Then there is Ravenclaw, who is, well, let's say, um, R Gryffindor is golden and yellow, well, no, red and yellow colors, and there's Ravenclaw, who's the smart and witty ones, whose colors are silver and blue. There is Hufflepuff, who is yellow and black, um, and they're really, they're really nice. There is Slytherin, who is the curly, really evil type, and they, their colors are green and white. So yeah, you'll see the color stands, and yeah, so that's just a bit about Harry Potter. And, uh, well, yeah, that's all I really need to say about Harry Potter. Also, it's did I mention that the whole thing is about, well, wizards and witches and spells and, yeah. So, this is basically the scoreboard and you get to measure all of your scores. This takes a while, like, there's no speeding it up, sadly. So yeah, I so far three stars and that bring it up to four stars. So, I did pretty good on that against Hufflepuff, they're really easy. Um, so, yeah, there we go, that's just Quidditch, and ne next I'll be showing dueling. Now, I'll actually be doing this Slytherin dueling, because that's the hardest, and I want to explain all the stuff, and yeah. So, dueling is fighting opposing people with your wands, and using spells, like stupefy the Stunning spell, Trivicus Totalis, the paralyzing spell, I think. No, it, it freezes you. There's like Incendio, which gets off fire, stuff like that. Um, and it is really awesome. So, yeah, as I said again, you should actually get this game if you haven't. So. You are Gryffindor, and you give off red stupefies, and yeah. So, there's Protego, which shields you like this. Sometimes knock off their stupefy like that. He's about to give off. The That's Patricius Totalis, which he just hit me with. Now, shield, that did loads of damage. Now, you just want to shield constantly. Uh, there is... The Potrificus Totalis, which is that, and there's also Expelliarmus, which I'm going to show you right when it gets out. That That's Expelliarmus, yeah. Pretty good spell. And then I'll show you the final spell, Charging. Well, actually, there's one more, but I'll show that in the next one. That's Charging. Really? No, this is a perfect time. That's the last one. It just gives them off their feet. Well, of course, that did some damage because it was out as last one. Now, second duel, if you already won the first duel, is really easy. So, what I'm doing is basically attacking the opposing, the champion of Slytherin. Now, if you do this, this is probably the hardest duel. So, I'm, it's very hard, as I said. And, what you Stupefies or any other spells won't work when they're in a Potrificus Totalis. Or I like to say the Potrificus Totalis effect, which does not let your you get affected by any, any spells. 
now I just got beaten. So when you get beaten and the opposing gets beaten, you get into a round three, which is the deciding match. Now you want to go straight out with the poke trip against Totalis. This is, makes it really easy. But so get out. Anyway, I'm just getting out. So, so you want to shield kind of when he uses stupefy. Two. There we go. That did some damage. Now we need a pop and spelling on us to get him down. Now I'm gonna charge to the two point, and that's gonna do good deal of damage. Now you can also Now, I just got beaten, so this is a fail, but as you see, it slims are really mean. He just said, I hope it hurts, Potter. Wow, that is extremely mean. What is wrong with you people? Anyway, <laughs> that's what I was saying. This is really, this is a really nice, fun game to play, and it's kind of, sort of a spoiler if you haven't seen the fourth book. Now, potions is a bit different. Now, of course there are magical potion bottles, but you can just put in potions and create potions. You'll just see what I'm doing. It's kind of hard to explain really. There are bottles and you can heat, there are bottles that you pour in and you can heat up the cauldron with the potion in it and blah blah blah. There are loads of potions, as you can see. So my favorite is actually the Drought of Living Death. Now this is the third potion you perform in the main storyline, but anyway, you just get straight to it. So, you can see what I'm doing. You have a time limit, and if you fail, smoke will appear like this. So you just click the um, triggers constantly to put it out. Now, when you do that, your time goes down. When you perform a good spell, well, good act, your your time goes up. You that's what you want to do. And you perform this brewing as fast as you possibly can. There is heating it up. There is some performance of shaking bottles, but you don't learn that until, like, later in the game. But, yeah. So, the storyline of this, well, I'll tell you a bit about all of the things. Uh, I don't know. I'll just show you. This is, anyway, this is, I really like this game. Anyway, I can't really think of what to say. Um, Drought of Living Death. Yay. Sorry, I can't think of anything. I'll just be quiet. Listen to the music. It is very peaceful. I have more than 100 times. It's really tense for me. Awesome music. Anyway, I just have to heat it up twice to really finish. And now, I will probably get an amazing score. So, yes, this is brewing potions. That that's the right color. What is wrong? I that's the right color. That's the right color. <laughs> there we go. So, yeah. That's that. So, I personally think this is really mean because I got the right color and it didn't do. No complaining though. No complaining. Anyway, if you haven't been to Harry Potter World in Universal, I prefer doing it. I'm just, yeah, this is just awesome. Anyway, that's all of the potions. Okay, so overall I give Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince four dragons out of five. Now make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment as to which Hogwarts house you are. Thanks for watching, and see you later, fire breathers.